That's our next puzzle right there. It's alder, Pacific red alder. And it's, it's the worst kind of dead tree that I know of in my life. Alder has been the most Butterfinger bar, biscotti, biscuit quality of wood when it's dead, when it's been dead a while like that one. Really, really bad. It has no stringiness at all. It has no bend. It only has snap. And it'll, so to give you an idea, one time, that's how I found out. I mean, I knew it was bad, but I did something dumb one day. It was about a 60 footer and it was tall. All the limbs had fallen off of it. So it was just this big log up in the sky. And I slice cut it from the ground, you know, at an angle, like salami cut. Some people call it a spear cut. When it slid off the stump and hit the ground, it only dropped about a foot. It broke into about five equal pieces. So imagine you're right under 60 feet of log separated five times, falling down like pickup sticks around you. It was like, it was one of the most harrowing escapes I've ever had. And it was like in a dream, I couldn't run fast enough. And I barely, I mean, I got missed by inches on all around the last one that that came down because they all came down like you know um, the one that came the closest to me that i know of was on my heels as i was trying to run and uh there were a few people standing watching and they were like and they were saying you almost died and I was like, yes, I know. That's probably 32 inch at the base. Uh, DBH. It's bigger than it looks. Camera always lies a little bit. But that is not good. So what we'll probably do is shoot a line up and try to break some pieces out of it. Because as we're pulling it from the side... We'll get a real good idea, because that's about the greatest test you could give it is side pressure. We'll try to break some tops out of it because there's nothing really under it that we have to worry about. Somebody's saying, why don't you just fall that thing? Or if they're in the UK or East Coast, they're saying, why don't you fell that thing? And the reason is because Ooh, hey, pull that down, but, but let's not die when we do it. So this will be our first experiment on how, how dead this stuff is. Come over here to the side. This is just throw line strength. So yeah, that's what we're talking about. That broke in the air. So look, here it is. It's laying down here. One, two, three, four. Seems to be pretty consistently horrible. And we broke it with th barely a tug on throw line. So if you get your throw line stuck, we have to go out of the drop zone to, to get it unstuck to pull on it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, perfect. You almost landed it back in the bag. Should we try to break it with this? Well, we could. I mean, just not without breaking the throw line, but. We don't want to break, but let's go way the heck back out of the way. Like back by the skid steer. You're worried about it pulling the whole tire. Yeah, just in case it pulls the whole tree over. I don't want to be under it. I mean, I mean, I would trust it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you just don't want to go on be on that thing, man. No. That was. That's sketch. I didn't pull that hard. I know. 
I mean, it is so. These guys back east that deal with uh, the ash, when it goes like the ash borer stuff, it's it's like that. It's just. I mean, it's not safe. Like you guys see me climb all kinds of sketchy yeah. stuff, but not that. Not when it's like that. You'll just die. Yeah, nope. Yeah, drop. Oh, it's not gonna wanna drop? Uh, it's dropping slow. I don't think we gotta put the big rope on it yet. We can work with that. I was gonna say, we could do something with it. Get both sides of it. Watch how strong I am. Nice speed line. Yeah, so I wanted to speed line that one first. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna retighten this. Mm-hmm. Not tying instructor. Yeah. Called the whirly bird knot. Oh yeah! Whoa, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I rocked it back once, you know, <laughs> but wouldn't let it go to its full rocking point. And yeah. then just gave it one good one while I could get some like momentum on it. With throw line. Because if the throw line will do it, it's really speaking volumes of how it's, dangerous yeah. the tree is. Yeah, it? another volume. Yes, Using that would be proper turning judgment. That would be turning the volume up. Before you just go climbing up, it is yeah. a big thing in this practice. Yeah, what do you think, YouTube friends? Should we have climbed that? See that breadstick? One, two, three, four, five pieces. So what happens is you go up there and you put any kind of kind of sway on that thing. Like for example, if you tip a piece out and it pushes on the stem, then it just breaks all over the place. Odds are it'll just pull the whole tree over and we'll have to deal with all the wood, but. One, two, three, four, five. That is quite well hidden though. It didn't look like it was going to. Did you guys watch it? 